from the time Shadari signed the first minimum wage in 1981, 125 naira, which was equivalent to 125 dollar, and put it in our constitution and insulate it so that it would not be abused. It was negotiated. It was negotiated. The last minimum wage of 30,000 was also negotiated in the same line. Six governors represented the governors one part of political zone. Manufacturers Association were there. Small and scale, small scale enterprises were there. Chambers of Commerce were there. NECA, the umbrella body for private employers are there. Organized labor were there. We negotiated for six months. Our demand was 16,500 using empirical data of the purchasing power of Nigerian workers that have been eroded. And also to bring back the value of 18,000. It was in the process of negotiating. States said they cannot be able to pay 66. And employers also said they will not be able. So we reached an agreement of 30,000. That was what President uh, uh, Buhari signed and sent to the National Assembly. We are happy. Even at that point, some of the governors want to reduce the amount. It was that actually stood their ground and filed the bill within three days. And the Senate concurred. And the Senate concurred. So what I'm saying in essence, how can we degenerate to remove an issue that the workers have earned through hard labor for 40 years? And they want to remove it overnight. The problem of Nigeria, we have said, is in essence the issue of good governance. Yes! That is why we are here. And therefore, all those issues have been documented in the document we are going to deliver to the leadership. Comrades, we have also said that, let me inform them, you have given us the mandate that if the right thing is not done, that leadership have the right to declare a national strike. Okay, sir. I know your passion. Comrades, I know your passion. I know that this is very critical to you. Among other issues, part of why we are not against progress is because local government system has been killed. The resources of local government have become pocket money. We want autonomy for the local government, autonomy for the state of assembly, autonomy for the judiciary. Yeah. This is the way to go because it's different arms of government. Yeah. And if we do that, Nigeria will be better. Yeah. These resources of local government can be used to address issues of insecurity. Yeah. And it can address many developmental issues. Yeah. Yeah. Have I spoken your mind? Yeah. Salute your tenacity. Thank you. Sir. Let me salute your courage. Thank you. That despite COVID-19, yes. COVID-19 cannot take away the fundamental right of protest. That is the right to protest. Yes. It's a right enshrined in the UN Charter for human and trade union rights, and therefore it cannot be taken away. I also know governors collect the same salary across the country. Yes. Councillors collect the same salary. Yes. Members of state and national assembly collect the same salary. Not on ability to pay. So why is the case of workers different? Yes. If it is ability to pay. Hello? 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 Governors also collect homogenous that have not been used to address the issue of institution in our country. If we reduce all of this, I'm sure we will have more than enough to be able to pay minimum wage. We say minimum. Minimum is minimum. It's a national benchmark. If a best private sector can pay, women have more responsibility to the citizens than even organized private sector. Have I passed your message? Have I passed your message? Thank you very much. I will therefore symbolically hello i will therefore symbolically hand over the letter containing those issues i have highlighted to our leadership to our leadership at the national assembly because they represent our interests this is our first point of call and therefore they represent every nigerian that is true representatives so it is my honor present our letter of protest. Sorry, can we shoot and see? On behalf of Nigeria workers. Sorry, you shift back a bit. What? Okay. No, I'm to Hello? Please, let us see the letter. Let us see the letter. Okay, let's go. Let me go to the letter. 
I therefore hand over to the leader of the delegation, the deputy chief whip, Sabi from Niger State. Hello? 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 My colleague, the president of the Cardinal Congress, Comrade Kadiri Onale, we present that of the House of Reps and also give his address before we now take response from the two representatives, please. Solidarity! Solidarity! We cannot be repeating ourselves. All has been said. But in the Am I correct? And we resolve that if the House the National Assembly must take that decision, all our representatives should go back to their local government to collect their salary according to the local government generation. Republic of Nigeria that are here representing the Senate leadership under the leadership of Senator Ahmed Lawan, my own distinguished colleagues, members of the House of Representatives that are here with me to represent in the first place the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Right Honorable Femi Bajabi Amila, who unfortunately is not in town at the moment. of the National Assembly under the leadership of Senator Ahmed Ibrahim Lawal and Right Honorable Femi Bajabi Amila. May I therefore, on that note, say a big thank you, President Wamba, a very big thank you to the organized labor, to a very good thank you to the general membership of this organized labor in the Federal Republic of Nigeria for in the first place deciding to make use of the constitutional window to come and air your grievances to the right quota. You are in the right hands, you are in the right space, you are at the right institution. It's a representation of the general membership of the organized level in Nigeria. Mr. President, 
Mr. President, may I say on behalf of my speaker and the entire members of the House of Representatives that we are also by extension members of the organized labor of the Federal Republic.